A very good evening to you from one of the great capitals in Europe. We are talking to you from the Portuguese capital, Lisbon. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It's Benfica facing RB Leipzig. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. This is the lineup for the home team. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation that a 4-4-2 can really create a 2v1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. And a no-nonsense clearance. Aris Seferovic. And do they mean business on this occasion? He might be able to make it through. And that was a heaven-sent opportunity to take the lead so early. First goal is so important, Derek. Sometimes you're not ready. Well, you really must be ready this early in the game. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Marcel Zabitza. Will there be a tangible end product? It might well be scoped for them to counter-attack here. Given away by Benfica. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw-in here. On the ball, Andreas Samaris. He's beaten his map. Opportunity not. He's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil. It should be one-nil. It really should. There's no doubt about it. The UEFA Champions League has come a long way since it came into existence back in 1992-93. And there are many, Lee, who say it's the highest standard of football you'll see anywhere. Well, I think it is the best club competition uh, in the world, I think the competition at the top, at the end, near the final, etc., is what it is. But the tournament is strong throughout the group stages and then the knockout stages. It's the perfect format for me. Grimaldo, Samaris, are showing a real commitment to. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. And clears his lines. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Played into the centre of the box. And he's clear as lines. Crossing possibilities. Now, what could he do here? Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Whatever it takes to keep them out. Can he do it from miles out? Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. The ball with Kamper, Emil Forsberg, Kevin Kamper, Marcel Zabitza, Seferovic. And attempting the through ball. Oh, can he make this move count? Oh, a truly magnificent piece of goalkeeping there. Well, it is his job, Derek. Keep the ball out of the net, but I'll give you it was a good save. Alstenberg has it. Mukiele. Kevin Kumpel. Carrying a genuine threat here.
We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. It's all about translating threats into goals. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Werner. Given away by Benfica. He just keeps going, no let up. And there's the feed into the box. Well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance. Vili Orban. Forsberg. Alstenberg has it. Werner. Here's PC. Samaris. Given away by Benfica. He's got the right idea with that pass. Is he going to punish them here? Nice and easy for the keeper. Seferovic. Nordi Mukiele. Lima on the ball. The ball with Zabica. Emil Forsberg. Konate. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Maneuvering his way forward. Can they hit on the break? Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And he's got the beating of his opponent. And caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. He's given it away. They're making considerable progress with the ball, but will there be an end product? Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Alstenberg has it. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. And crossed in there. And a wonderful save. All types of save keepers make, but that's really important. Look how close the striker gets. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, as we see it again, I can tell you his nerves will have been jangling, but he kept his nerve. Really good penalty. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. They're succeeding in finding forward gears, but will they produce from this position? Let's see. In possession, Yusuf Paulsen. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Well, visionary passing. An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Nothing wrong with that idea. Now, what can he do here? And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. So, a level contest. 1-1. Marcel Zabitza. Ibrahima Konate. In possession, Yusuf Paulsen. 
the ball with Zabica it's a very neatly constructed attack what can they do from here options galore well he wasn't messing around with the clearance given away by Benfica well, can he make this move count he's taken on his opponent here well the keeper is happy the ball was there and it's gone in well, as we see, there'll be an inquest between keeper and defenders. He'll be saying, where were you? And they'll be saying, why didn't you catch it? Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, 2-1 it is here. Just a couple of minutes left for play. Halstenberg has it. Werner. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And that brings the action to its conclusion. You've got to say, Lee, a horrible night at the office. That's the last thing you need. Start of the qualifying stages. You don't need a zero point, Sally. You almost need memory loss now to forget about that. Down to five games to qualify.